In this video, we are going to solve a thermodynamics problem using the ideal gas equation and the van der Waals equation of state. So let's get started with example three. A mass of two kilograms of acetylene is in 50,000 centimeters cubed rigid container at a pressure of 4.3 megapascals. Find the temperature using ideal gas, van der Waals equation, and today we will not be um, solving for C. So let's get started with A. Our ideal gas equation of state is PV equals NRT. Let's go ahead and write down all the information that is given to us in the problem statement. So we have our mass given to us, which is two kilograms. We have our volume in 50,000 centimeters cubed. We have our pressure given to us in 4.3 megapascals. Uh, we're looking for temperature. Oops, we're looking for temperature. And great. Let's get started looking for our R value. Our R value has to match the units that are given to us in the problem or the units that we want to find. I see here that we have kilograms, centimeters cubed, megapascals, and we're going to want it in Kelvin. So let's go ahead and look at our gas constant table and find an, an R value that matches our givens. So we have volume in liters, volume in centimeters cubed, but pressures in atmospheres. The volume in this one is feet cubed. This one has centimeters cubed, but pressure is in torres, so we definitely don't want that one. Meters cubed. Oh, and I think I'm going to use this one. We have our volume in centimeters cubed. Our pressure in our problem is given in megapascals, but we can convert into kilopascals. Our moles are in gram moles, so we're going to have to convert our kilograms into grams. And then temperature is in Kelvin. So, so far, so good. We're just going to have to do some simple conversions. I'm going to go ahead and write down my R value. And also write down the units. Because it will keep us organized. Alrighty. And now let's start doing some conversions. So we said we wanted our mass to be in to be in grams. So 2 kilograms is 2000 grams. We so that's great. Now we have our mass units matching our our constant. Volume is centimeters cubed. That's fine. Our pressure that is in 4.3 megapascals. We're going to change it into kilopascals, and if we do the conversion correctly, we get 4300 kilopascals, so that's perfect. Now, units matches our R constant, and I think those are that's it for our unit conversions. Let's go ahead and start um, solving for T. So I see here that we're given pressure. That's good. We're given volume. We have our R constant. However, we don't have moles, but we can find the moles since we know that moles is equal to our mass divided by the molar, molar mass of the substance that we're using in the problem. Our mass is 2,000 grams, and our molar mass for acetylene if we look it up for me is in the end of my textbook in my thermodynamic tables 
and it says that the molar mass is 26.038. So that means we have 76.81 gram moles. Perfect. Now we have moles, and now we need to find our temperature. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. PV equals NRT. I'm going to solve for T by dividing both sides by NR. So you get temperature is equal to pressure times volume divided by moles times R. Alrighty. We're going to start just plugging and chugging. So pressure is 4300. Remember, we're going to use the values that we converted for so that it matches our, our gas constant. Volume is 50,000. Our moles are 76.81. And our R value is 8,304. After we plug that into our calculator, we get the value of 300 and 36.6748 Kelvin. And we know it's in Kelvin because that's the value in our R value. So that's great. We solved for temperature using the ideal gas equation. So let's go ahead and move on and use the Van der Waals equation of state. I'm gonna rewrite the Van der Waals equation of state equation. If you don't know it or if you're not comfortable or you don't know the variables and what they stand for, you can look at my first video. It explains what the variables stand for and also has another example. So this is the formula and reminder that that V does not stand for volume, it stands for molar volume. Let's go ahead and rewrite the stuff that we know. We know, that, uh, we know that our pressure is equal to 4300 kilopascals. We know that our mass is equal to 2000 grams. We know that our volume is equal to 50,000 centimeters cubed. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite my R value. And again, if you have any confusion as to why we picked these values, it's because they match our, our value that I more thoroughly explained in the first um, question A, where we did it with the ideal gas equation. So let's continue. Pascals, gram moles, Kelvin. Great. I think th this is all the information they gave us in the problem. So let's go ahead and check what we have. We have the pressure, we have R constant. We're looking for temperature and we need not volume, but molar volume. We're not given molar volume, but we can find it because molar volume is volume over moles. And we figured out what the moles were in our ideal gas equation. So we know that our moles is equal to 76.81 gram moles. So my molar volume is going to be my volume, which was 50,000 centimeters cubed, divided by our moles, 76.81. And after plugging that into a calculator, we get the molar value equaling to 650.81. 9569. Great. So now we have molar volume. We don't know A or B, but in order to find A or B, we have our formula. Our formula to find A is the following it's this one right here. And then we're also going to have to find B. And the formula to find B is this one right here. Well, 
Alrighty, we notice here that in order to, in order to solve for A and B, we're going to need our critical temperature for acetylene and also our critical pressure. These are in the back of your textbook. They're tabulated values. They're very unique to the substance that you're working with at the moment. If you don't have it in your textbook, you can simply look up on Google critical temperature of blank substance that you're using. In this instance, it's acetylene. Um, and in my textbook, it says that the critical temperature for this substance is 308.3 Kelvin. And my critical pressure is 61.4 bar. However, this unit does not match the unit that I want um, and that is given to me in my R value. So I'm going to go ahead and convert bars into kilopascals. 61.40 bar is equal to 61 or 6,140 kilopascals. Great. Now I have all of the values to solve for A. I'm going to plug and chug. I'm going to plug in my R value. Plug in my critical temperature value. And then plug in my critical pressure. After plugging everything in into, into my calculator, we're going to get the big number of 4514217800. I rounded, it's fine. And my R val and then we continue solving for B. For B is going to be my R value which is 8,314 8, times our critical temperature divided by 8 times critical pressure, 6140. Now remember, we're going to use this, the kilopascal value, not the bar value. And after plugging all of that into our calculator, we get the number 52.18. Two, five. Perfect. Now we have A and B. So let's go ahead and start plugging things in to our formula. So our formula is going to be our pressure by kilopascals. So 4300 equals my R value times our temperature, which we're going to look for. But by our molar volume, which was 650.9569 minus our B, which is 52.1825 minus our A, which is 45142178 divided by your molar volume squared. So 650.9569 squared. Now we solve for T. You can solve for T using algebra, or the way I solve for T is by using my TI 89 and using the solve function so that I don't have to waste time doing algebra. And it gave me that my temperature is equal to 386.41 Kelvin. Temperature using my Van der Waals equation is kind of similar to my ideal gas equation. So under these conditions, acetylene kind of somewhat acts like an ideal gas since the temperatures for both equations are um, somewhat similar. But yeah, and that's it for example number three. I'm going to go ahead and do another example um, later on this week. So make sure you look out for that video. Bye-bye.